Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Ninja Fudi 3-in-1 Toaster Grill and Panini Press. At the time of recording, I picked this up for £135. If you want to pick it up or know more about it, I will leave a link in the description box below. Before we start, if you find this video useful, a like would be appreciated and please subscribe to watch more reviews. It's got some information there, 100 more recipes. We get an instruction booklet. Quick start and recipe guide. And as I mentioned before, if you scan the QR code or visit the web page, you can access over a hundred recipes. This is the panini press and grill two in one. That's what it looks like from the bottom. You need to use the panini press. Just push this up. Then you'd put whatever you want in there and then push this down. You could remove the grill part as well. You could see it says there, press. So lift this up and just press that. Just put that back. So onto the Ninja Foodi 3-in-1 toaster grill and panini press. Model number for this is ST200 UK because I'm in the UK. I have a three pin plug here. It has a fixed cord. I should also mention this is in black. You could also pick this up in silver. Looking at it from the bottom, we have five rubber pads. At the back, we have a crumb tray. You can't remove that. It stays in its place. That's a bit of a downside. I'll just close that. Yeah, that's to push down to make your toast or you will also push that down when you're going to use it in grill mode. I'll show you that in a bit. We have the control panel here, so on off. Of course, that will light up when I turn it on. And then you have the modes there, grill, low, medium, high, temperature and time. And you've got minus and plus, and then the different modes you are using, it will light up grill, panini, bake or reheat start stop and you could even select the shade of your toast as well whether you want it less or if you want it medium or some people like it like really toasted like sort of burnt you could also select that as well bagel defrost and of course the x2 cancel i'm going to toast two slices of bread i'm using king's mill 50 50. so if i put the bread sideways it overlaps so I have to place the bread this way. I turn it on. I select the shade by plus or minus. It's on three. I could put it on four, but I'm leaving it on three. And then I just push that down. If I just turn my light off, you can see. I'm going to be using the panini press function now. So I'll move this down. See the LOC is come up. I need to push this lever down. The temperature to low, medium, high. By default, it's on high. Then of course, I could control the time as well. Okay, so we're just making basic cheese paninis I'm 
So panini is already selected. Temperature, I'm going to select medium because first time we are using this bread. So it's selected 160. Time, I'm going to select 10 minutes. So all I do is press start. Let's have a little look at how it's doing. So as soon as you remove uh, the, uh, the um, grill and panini press, it stops. So as you can see there, this will need slightly longer. Now your bread may not take as long because this is part baked. So we want to make sure that the bread is fully cooked through. As you can see, it's stuck on there. We should have used some oil. I forgot to mention, you just wash these with warm soapy water. That's how I washed them before we started. I just used some fairy liquid and some warm water. As you can see, that's ready. I'm going to enjoy them now. If you have any Ninja products, let us know in the comment section below. I have reviewed other Ninja products as well, where we are really happy with them. This, it's a decent piece of kit. If you want to pick up, link in the description. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, leave a like. Please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.